Well, while I got a few minutes, let's make a video. It's the 17th of June, 2015, Crawford Electric. Tropical Storm Bill paid us a visit today, and damn, he made a mess. But on the inside, we got some good looking duct work. Insulators have been jumping on it with both feet, knocking it out. All the, I'd say about 95% of the rounds are done. Most of the square is done as well, rectangular. We're working right now on the two long trunks from uh, RTU3. Yeah, they're still uh, needing, we, not them, we're still needing to get our medium pressure flex and canvas connectors attached, but that's going to be tomorrow's game plan for sure because we've got almost all of our stuff up and done. So now it's just a bunch of little bitty things, dragon slaying as I like to call it. Catch them now before they get too big. See, it's all just uh, flex ends on the drops, canvases and transitions, and medium pressure on the uh, fan power boxes. Uh, let's see where we at. Yeah, let's start with this one. That's some good looking wrap job. You guys are clean, tight, nice. I've been trying to work with the sheet rockers, the framers, about getting our slot diffuser boxes framed in because there's hard ceilings that need to pay extra attention to. So we'll get that worked out. Should be a no problem. Yeah, look at that wrap job. Good looking stuff. Good looking stuff. There's another canvas transition and uh, medium pressure connection. Well, we did have a couple of little, uh, I'll call them boo-boos with the inspections. Uh, we were too tight on a couple of our fan power box doors. That run right there was one in particular. So we extended it and since it comes over a little bit to the left of where it ends right there. We should still be okay with our flex drop. Might be a little closer to seven feet to, than six, but I guess it'll be all right. Oh, let's make it through the wall there. Yep, yep, yep. Good looking wrap job. That's why my boss loves these guys. He's been using this insulator for a long time. Truth be told, I'm glad he does, because I say they do a hell of a job. They're pretty quick. So it's nice and neat. Not so tight that it loses our value. And that's the last two systems they need to wrap, is these two right here. Had deck issues, so we couldn't turn them loose on this area. But they'll get that and it'll probably take them, oh goodness, half a day-ish six hours maybe to get both of those oh and as you can see they've definitely made some serious progress with the building itself a lot of the office areas are well on their way I believe the Irving inspections department has already approved the one side on the sheetrock yeah. cubicles over there a little office here. Our drops are in play, ready to just put some flex on and leave it hanging in the ceiling and it'll be ready. All right. What else we need to talk about? <coughs> oh, yeah, this is one of my favorite parts of this whole ceiling job. Just the size of that stuff. My goodness, that's a lot of duct, a lot of big duct. A 28 inch round. And a return there, full size return. Huge. They definitely get their 
air out that they want to get out. All right, yeah, let's uh, continue on. Bathrooms are back here. That's all ready for bottom taps for the exhausts. Supply runs are already in. Exhaust is up to the deck, tied in, ready to have the fan set. Uh, return crossover in. in both of these areas. Here's the other one. Our exhaust. Oh, missing an end cap. We got to get that. Supply runs are ready to be put in play. So these guys are working on this RTV3 square right now. It's rectangular. And it goes back to there. They've got most of that on the other side of that wall out to this point here. It looks to me like all that's left is this bare section here. That's what, three, five, five joints and a 90. So, hour and a half, maybe. <laughs> They'll have it knocked out. All these are in play. This is a grid, grid ceiling in this area. Oh, that's not wrapped because we had a an elbow break. So no big, it's been patched. We'll put back together some hanging strap, extra screws, and some mastic put on it to seal it back up. So it should be good to go. Now I made reference to the slot diffusers. You get through this wall here. This conference area here gets a uh, hard deck, hard ceiling in here. And this is where we're going to have a little bit of discussion with the framers about uh, getting our frames sized properly to support our slot boxes. There's only four of them in here. The layout looks kind of off to me, but it's per plan so I mean with having four on that side and none on that wall which I find a little unusual but I didn't design it CFM is more than enough for this space and I do believe that there are canopies actually extending out on this wall to help shade those windows some these however are the hot side of the building so they'll definitely be working their butts off. Hopefully they get some good high dollar glass in there and that'll definitely uh, make it easier. Ooh, a little grid wire. All right, a little room. I think this is a private conference area or something, as David Spawn put it. But this also gets a hard ceiling. And that's more than enough supply air with those windows and the size of the room. It's no big deal. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, well, that's what we got. There's a nice long panoramic view. Start from here, swoop on down, catch the whole job in a nice long look there. A little jewel comes and stops right there. So, yeah, the data man's been on his game too. Cat's been throwing some cable. <laughs> They're rolling pretty quick too. Alrighty. Well, there we go. That's uh, today's video. And again, to borrow David's line, it's starting to look like something in here. Alright, ta-da.